What do you think of your new trailer, Johnny? Yeah, it's good, huh? <laughs> Hola, farmsteaders. Hola. We are Mac. And Jose. And welcome back to Youper Country Farms. Yep. We are a farm and a homestead up here in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Today is the start of week number two for planting. Oh, yeah. So we are getting starts done in the greenhouse because, Jose, what happened outside? Outside, uh, it is cold. <laughs> it is uh, like a sleety rain and ice and snow, it's brutal. Yeah, where do you go, uh, spring? Yeah, where is spring? Uh -huh. It left, I think. Yeah. So we are in the greenhouse working today and the heat definitely needs to be on because it is right at freezing and we have a bunch of starts in here already. They need yeah. to stay at least above freezing. Yeah. <laughs> today though, we are planting several things. We are going to do a round of pak choy, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite greens to grow. So we're doing a baby pak choy mm -hmm. and a regular pak choy. Then we're gonna put our first round of beets in. Oh. And we like to do our beets in the paper pot transplanter. It worked out really well for us last year. These ones drop a plant every six inches. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the beets every six inches. And these first ones we're planting will be the ones we're putting in the hoop house. And we had such good luck with our first beets in the hoop house last yeah. year. They'll just have to come out before we start our cucumbers in that same row. And then I'm gonna do some herbs. We're gonna do Jose's favorite, which is cilantro, and my favorite, which is basil. <laughs> uh, so we're probably going to do two trays of basil and just one of cilantro. Good. No? Well, I thought you'd be mad that we're only doing one cilantro and two basil. Well, I like uh, basil and curry. Yeah, and we do eat a lot of curry so, around here. So we're doing, we are doing uh, an Asian basil and then we're just doing a Genovese basil. Yeah. Uh, so we love basil. <laughs> All right, Jose, so we're going to get that done, and then this afternoon mm -hmm. we are going to build the floor for the chicken trailer. Yeah, it, it depends because if Uncle Harry called. Oh, and yeah, we may be sapping today, yeah. which the weather's not been very good, but the trees have been pouring out the sap. And yesterday we weren't able to go because we were literally uh, a sheet of ice here. <laughs> it had rained and sleeted all night long. Yeah. So hopefully if he does sap today, we'll be able to go. For sure we're going tomorrow. Yeah. And then we'll build the floor for the chicken coop is on the agenda. I think that's it for the yeah. next couple of days. We really have to get that chicken coop built so we can get the chickens out of the barn. Goodbye. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. Okay. This place is a mud hole. <laughs> no. Jose, is that a swamp? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, I think the only animals happy about the mud are the ducks. They look very happy, eh? And they're very happy back there. So before we go to Harry's this afternoon, we have got to get the floor of this trailer done. Yep. Uh, what we're doing is just building a frame to put a one by one wire bottom on this because then as the chickens uh, do their thing, it'll mm -hmm. fall right through onto the pasture. So there will be very little cleaning for us in the summer. We won't be cleaning cages or pens. Yeah. Um, just the ones, just our babies will have to clean out the, br the brooders. All right, so Jose and I went out the other day. We bought this one by one wire. We're going to use this for the floor. Mm -hmm. um, should work pretty well. And then we went and bought all these two by fours and two by threes. The two by threes are to build the chicken tractors, which sit on the ground. Uh, and those will be for our meat birds. And then the two by fours are for the floor of this chicken trailer. Mm -hmm. The chicken trailer will actually be 90% reclaimed wood. Yeah. I'm only, just because I want the strength in the floor, we will use uh, new two by fours for the floor. But everything else will be reclaimed wood from that dog kennel we took down last year, which gave us a ton of wood, a ton of building material. <laughs> we, we love working outside when it's cold. <laughs> We do love working outside when it's cold. <laughs> so on the internet yesterday, yep. on Facebook, right? My father sent us a message that this was available. What is that? Uh, well, it's a really big building. It was used for dogs. Somebody mm -hmm. housed their breeding dogs in here. So we are here taking it apart. 
But anyway, last night I did all of our measurements and um, the plan layout for the floor. So these are the two by four cuts we need to make. So hopefully this will be a fast project. Yep. All right, let's go. Okay, so Uncle Harry just let us know he does not need us tonight, which means we'll definitely get this floor put together and done. Yeah. All right, so Jose and I have the main frame built for the floor in here, but now we need a way to attach it to the metal frame, which is probably a tricky part of this. So we're gonna use these big old bolts here. Uh, so now all we need to do is drill holes through the frame and holes down into the trailer frame itself and put these in there. Okay. So this is gonna be a longer task. Yeah, I'm thinking two here and then four down the center. Okay. So the floor of the trailer is installed. Now we just have to put the wire mesh on top. So we're doing one by one wire mesh on top of this. Mm -hmm. We can do that tomorrow. I think I'm checked out for the day. Yeah, yeah. Good, day. That's good day. It was a good day, we did a great job. All right, so today is Uncle Harry's birthday, which means not a lot of work's gonna get done. Nope. We have to go to Uncle Harry's early uh, and bring him a gift, well, and hang out and sap and a bunch of stuff. But anyway, today, this morning, we are gonna get the cage wire, or this morning, we are gonna get the wire put on the floor of the chicken trailer. So that is the big project. Jose, yeah. are you ready? I'm ready. So we're going to get this done, and then I haven't told Jose yet, but we're gonna haul a bunch of wood down from the top of the barn uh -oh. so that we're ready when we need to start building walls, because later today, I'm gonna to design the trailer, and I'm hoping tomorrow, despite the fact it's supposed to be cold, that we can start getting the walls framed. Yep. Because we have literally a week until the chickens need to be out of the barn. <laughs> we gotta get work done. All right. Okay. So remember, this wire floor is not something our birds will spend very much time on. During the summer, they are free-ranged mm -hmm. all day, uh, every day. Mm -hmm. And they're only in here at night, and at night they'll be sitting up on their roosts. Mm -hmm. So generally, they'll only be getting in and out of here. They'll only be getting in and out of here to get to the nest boxes and to get up on the roosts at night. All right, wire down. Yeah, perfect. What do you think, Jose? Oh, I think it's good. I think when it's done, it's gonna be nice enough for you to sleep in. What? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we do have the wire down for the floor. Jose, what are we doing next? Lunch. <laughs> I think he's always thinking about food. We're gonna do some onion soup though, I'm very excited. Mm, yep. I got, I canned a bunch, so we're gonna open up a jar. And then, what else are we doing? We're going to celebration. No? Okay, we're going to Uncle Harry's. What are we doing before that? Uh, uh, we had to go uh, grab a couple uh, two by four and maybe start building something. 
Yeah, we have uh, some beautiful two by fours, rough cut, yeah. rough sawn wood up in the in the top of the barn. It was what we pulled out of that doghouse last year when yeah. we pulled down the doghouse. So we had to bring in reinforcements. Who is it that's on the job site today? <laughs> oh yeah, he's very proud of himself. This is my father, Gary. Don't cut it out of the, don't cut it out of the Oh, video. I'm cutting this out. This ain't gonna be oh, in there. No, no. This ain't gonna be in there. We, we ain't putting you in the footage. We're we want- We're for two seconds on the video and you cut. <laughs> we want people to think Jose and I work really hard and fast. Not that we get help. Anyway, we brought in reinforcements, but we're, we are cranking today. It is one o'clock and we're about to take the roofing off. So we're gonna have lots of beautiful wood for this. I'm very excited. So we're gonna start pulling some of that down from upstairs because I need to do the design and tomorrow's gonna be cold so we can work on that in the garage. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be the next video is us putting the walls on this thing. All right, let's get lunch, wood and celebrate. Okay, so Jose and I are still dealing with frozen potting mix. Jose, what's going on over here? I think I got one cow. You got a cow in uh -huh. there? No. I see. Not a cow. Does it look like this? <laughs> we know this coming week we have to use a ton of it because we're gonna be doing tomatoes and peppers. So we went ahead and brought some in here. We'll let it warm up and thaw out. Put a little more over here. Uh, I wish this blue barrel was empty. We could fill that too, but alas, it is not. So I just watered all these plants in here. One of the things that happens in the spring is especially on sunny days, not so much on uh, cloudy days, I have to get in here and water these almost every day, especially the ones that are in the paper pot transplanters because it's very thin and they dry out very quickly. So I got all of that done. Now we're gonna go pull that wood down from the inside of the barn, try and get an idea of what we have up there and what we're gonna be able to use for the chicken coop. We have a bunch of rough cut two by fours that are beautiful. We'll be using those. Mm -hmm. Right behind Jose here is a bunch of one by twelves. This is what we're gonna use to put the exterior walls on. Yep. Uh, we'll probably build some windows on this so we can open it up and allow fresh air in. Uh, I'm just really excited about this project. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah. So right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a bunch of these rough cut two by fours brought over to the other garage so they're ready tomorrow when we want to start building. Okay. Oh, we also have a bunch of metal roofing in here that will be used for this project. All right. So the chickens have come over and inspected this. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Cash is definitely happy with it. He says, I can't wait till me and my ladies are out on pasture. I thought he was keeping here in this area. No? He's gonna stay up here. Oh, we're okay. keeping Johnny Cash up he, here. I, I think he's happy because the other chicken's going to. Because <laughs> we're gonna move the other roosters uh -huh. out on yeah. pasture. We're just keeping one rooster up here in the barn and one rooster will be living down here in that. And then we'll have maybe four roosters out in this guy with the majority of the ladies. Yeah. Eventually what we're going to try to do is be raising our own meat chickens uh, and our own eggs and all of that. So we'll have a incubator and be able to do all of our own stuff. So we want to have maybe four or five groups of chickens that we can have separated so we know what our eggs are. Yeah. <laughs> because now it's like a, a mix. Yeah, right now it's just, who knows which rooster is uh, taking care of which lady. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited. This is going to come together really nice, yeah, this project. Nice. So what I have to do tonight and later today is get this designed. Although first I have to get a video up. Uh, oh yeah, this video. Yeah, this video needs to go up tomorrow. And then I need to get this coop designed. So I'm going to be busy. Yeah. 
Plus, we are going to Harry's. A lot. Yeah, a lot of things to do. All right, Jose, anything else you want to add? Uh, if this is the first time, yeah, uh, have you seen this video, just subscribe. Yeah, if you haven't watched our channel before, yeah. give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We love having you guys around, and we got so many things going on. You know, we're trying to make a living at farming and doing the homesteading thing. We really want a simpler life. Yep. I wouldn't say it's simpler because we still work hard, <laughs> but it's definitely moves more in the rhythms of yeah, life. Yeah, much better than I was. Yeah. Okay, so if you are a homesteader or a farmsteader, you live in or love the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we hope you will subscribe to our channel. Again, we are Mac and, Jose. and we are Uper Country Farms. Just looking all over for my glove, it was in the trash can. I guess I accidentally threw it away. <laughs>